Hi, my name is Alice Chen. I'm a postdoc in the Melton Lab, and today I'll be demonstrating to you how we derive embryonic stem cells from human embryos. We receive embryos at all different stages of development, and we culture them in vitro until they reach the proper expanded blastocyst stage. These are examples of how the embryo develops from the first, the one cell stage, to the early blastocyst and then the expanded blastocyst from which we derive human embryonic stem cells. High quality embryos chosen for derivation are then transferred through three drops of acid tyroids where you'll leave it and watch for dissolution of the zona pellucida. The immunosurgery process is a non-specific process where the rabbit anti-human antibody will bind to the outer layer of cells, in this case it's the trophectoderm. Upon application of guinea pig sera complement, all of these cells with antibody attached will be lysed. To begin, we want to prepare three plates. The first plate is for acid tyroids, which we use to remove the zona pellucida. The second and third plates are for immunosurgery, I'll first begin by generating the plate where we will place the acid tyroids drops and human embryonic stem cell derivation media drops. Prepare three drops of acid tyroids on the left side of the plate and on the right side of the plate you'll prepare three drops of human ES culture media. The second plate consists of the primary antibody which is a rabbit anti-human RBC. Again, the left side of the plate will be...